The picture in the thumbnail is a message that came up on my one of my computers today. And a couple days ago, a client of mine texted me a similar picture that was on his computer, a little bit different. So I'm going to show you these uh, pictures in regards to it's a prompt to restart your computer to stay up to date. And if you do this wrong, you might be about to have a really bad day or a bad start to your day. Um, and I think this might be the first in a series of videos that would be a become a playlist because the subject of Windows updates is kind of kind of long and murky. And I think with a little effort, I can make it as clear as mud. Wait, mud's not clear. Well, <laughs> about the best we're going to be able to do is make it as clear as mud. So it's like you're seeing the mud in the daylight instead of seeing the mud at night. You'll have a better vision of mud in daylight than you will at night. At nighttime, you don't know that you're about to step in it. So that's probably a fair analogy. Okay, so let's get started here. I, I, I'm, I'm a little bit at odds of how to even go about this. But here, let's go try this. Here's what's happening on my computer, my, my streaming computer. The one that I'm actually recording this video on. And I've got to make sure that I'm showing this somehow. Is that even showing on your screen? I'm not sure that you're seeing that. Ugh, end recording. Okay, so I guess I just gave away my secret that I'm not doing this one as a live stream. Because of the things that I need to do, I've got to do this as a recording. So here I'm continuing the recording. And here's, here's the message that I'm talking about in the bottom right corner. The, ignore the upper left corner for now. We'll go talk about that in a minute, but that's not what popped up automatically in the upper left corner. The bottom right corner is what popped up and I have not clicked on anything yet. I'm not entirely certain what the reaction is gonna be when I, when I click on it, but I need to explain this. And if, if I click on something here, I'm afraid I might not get back to this window to be able to show it on video. So. I want to point out to you, when I float the mouse over this image, there's two icons over here, this gear icon and the arrow, arrow icon that are visible. When I move the mouse away from that image, those two icons are not there. Okay, so it appears that there's five things that I could click on. I could click on this arrow. I could click on the settings gear. I could click on restart now. Don't do that yet. <laughs> I could click on I could click on restart tonight and I could click on pick a time. So what's going to happen? Oh, let's read what this says here. Restart to stay up to date. Your version of Windows 10 will soon reach the end of service. Restart to install a newer version. A lot of people are going to, I'm sure, are going to read that and say, wait a minute, I didn't know there's anything newer than Windows 10. I thought Windows 10 is going to be a forever version. Well, within Windows 10, there's lots of different versions. And this series of videos is going to have to, I'm going to teach about that. But let's start with this version of Windows 10 that's going to soon reach end of service. I want to explain and show you what that means. Now, I want to try to make this first video as short as I can because many of you are coming to this video to just get out of this problem and be able to, to, to move on. So... I, I've got to go and show a couple other things before I can wrap up this short version. You're going to need to do this, but you might not have to do it today. You might not have to do it right now. In fact, definitely you don't have to do it right now. And you should not because it could take a long time. 
I've seen some computers take up to two hours to install this update. And I mean, they took that full two hours. So easily other computers could take longer because the computers that I saw take two hours for this process were current office computers. So they weren't real slow. Now, let me show you another one. I'm gonna punch over here to my computer number two where I have a photo displayed. This is a photo that was sent to me by a client a couple days ago. He received this message and he asked me, is this legit? So he's this whole photo here is a picture of his monitor. You can see the little icons in the system tray down here. So this is the bottom right area of his screen, similar to where that message appears on mine. But his message is a little bit different. The text is the same. Your computer will soon reach end of service, uh, restart to install a newer version, pick a time restart tonight or restart now is the same. His image here is a little different than mine is all. He's got a monitor, he's got a laptop plugged into a wall. Well, he took this picture from a laptop, so that's why he's seeing it represented as a laptop. Back on my computer, that image is, uh, come back to here, it looks like a tower computer. Well, my computer is a tower. So there could be some variations on this picture. But the text was the same, and these three buttons were the same, and these two buttons are the same, although we couldn't see it in his picture. Then another thing that's evident is down here on the system tray. Well, a moment ago, there was an icon there that had, <laughs> had a orange-yellow dot on it and as soon as I moved my mouse over that it disappeared. Well that's curious. That that orange yellow dot is indicates that there is an update waiting to install and it's a prompt to restart your computer. It's strange that that disappeared. Now this is part of why I described that I can make the whole subject of Windows updates as clear as mud and that's because I didn't expect that to happen. So and also, we don't know what's going to happen in the future with Windows updates. Now, let me come over here to the Start button. There's an orange dot here. And then if I float over that, I get the, the Power button. If I click on that, I get an Update and Restart. Meaning if I click to do that, my computer is going to install this update and it's going to restart. And if I do that, then I'm locked into that long process. So if you don't want to do that yet for your computer, you really need to postpone the installation of this update and not just ignore this message. If you simply ignore this message and your computer somehow glitches later in the day, you might be forced to restart it and then be forced into that update. Also, when that orange dot exists, Sometimes that causes sluggishness or other odd symptoms to occur. And in order to deal with those odd, odd symptoms, what you need to do is restart the computer. Again, you're going to be thrown into that Windows Update sequence. Okay, I'm doing this video different, so I'm going to, I'm going to end the recording right here and Checkouts go on, and then I'm going to pick up the next section. So when I checked that video, I found that, no, it wasn't going right. And I felt I was going to have to redo that portion all over again. I did not redo that portion. What happened was this message that's down in the bottom right corner, when I replayed it on video, when I was moving the mouse over that area to show you that arrow icon and the gear icon, as I was reviewing the video, my mouse arrow disappeared when I got into that area. Well, turned out I realized the reason for that is because the live message on my recording computer was still on top. So it was right in the position where the video was showing that same message in the background, but my mouse was successfully recorded, but I couldn't see that. So when I realized that, I decided, okay, I can just start recording again and 
take you on to the next step. This is a really weird video for me. Um, it, so let's talk about up here in the upper left corner. Windows 10. This shows that I'm currently on version 1909. That means the version of Windows 10 that is currently running on this computer is version 1909. It was released to the public in 2019. That's what the 19 means. Theoretically in September. It was supposed to be in September. Microsoft has a track record of being late. I'm going to show you a little bit more about that in a little bit. Not only is it version 1909, but it's operating system build 18363.1440. So different computers might ha all agree or all have the same 1909, but they could have slightly different build numbers. So there's a, a bunch of different ways that we refer to Windows 10 versions. Now, you might be wondering, well, I've seen Windows updates before. They happen about once a month. Well, they happen on the second Tuesday of each month, theoretically. Oftentimes, it might be a few days after that. Some computers might install a new update on the second Tuesday, and other computers in the same office might experience that update within the following days. And sometimes they go faster than other times. But here we're going from a very old version. This is the oldest possible version. So when it does the update from here to this level of new update, I expect that to take longer. But let's find out what is this about to update to? Is it going to go all the way up to the most recent? Or is it just taking one step? newer. So the way we're going to find that out, and I'm going to show you how it is on my computer, it could be different on yours. I'm going to press the Windows key on the keyboard and then type update settings and press enter. So this takes me to the Windows update screen and oh boy. So here, restart required. This update is ready to install. We need your help deciding when to restart so we can finish up. Feature update to Windows 10 version 20H2. So you already know that the first two digits refers to the year. So that means 2020. And the H2 refers to the month H2. Wait, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> there is no month called H2. Okay, so here we get back into the mud. I'm going to explain that in a minute. But I'm going to go to a place where it's easier to explain. So we could restart now or we could schedule the restart. We could come into advanced options and come down here to pause until and and pause this out even further into the future. And I want to see how far out this goes. Let's see. This goes to April 18th is what it shows us. From here, I'm going to try. No, I'm not going to try to remember that because I just don't remember things very well while I'm actually recording a video. So, April 18th is what that was, right? Yeah. Okay. So, I also need to show you how to check on what version you currently have. I'm going to click the OK button so this window goes away, and then hold down the Windows key on the keyboard and press the letter R. The letter R stands for Run. When I do that, I get this run dialog window down here. To see the title bar says run. There's a field here that's titled open. So what you can do here is type the name of any program that you want to run. So this program is called Winver. It stands for Windows version. W-I-N-V-E-R. Press enter. And that'll give you this screen that shows you what version you are currently on. If you are currently on 20.03 or later, then you're not about to get this urgent message down here in the, that's in the bottom, left, bottom right corner. You're only going to get that during this month if you're on version 1909. 
then there's a couple other caveats to that, but I'm not going to go into that now. So I want to switch over here to my second computer and show something. On my Log Me and Rescue Technician console, I'm connected currently to a couple other of my computers. And I also have another button where I can go to even another computer. And I want to show this computer where we're at. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's one of my other computers. Sorry, I didn't mean to show you those two or that. Let's get all the way back here. Windows key D for desktop. So I'm going to do Windows key R and type WinVer for this computer and see that this computer is on version 2004. Now this introduces a problem with this naming convention of calling versions by a two-digit year and then a two-digit month. Apparently Microsoft didn't foresee this back in what was it, 1995 when we first started getting, no, not 95, no, 2000, it was 2005, not 1995, um, when they started doing these version numbers, because that 2004, it just, you want to pronounce that as 2004, and that's confusing to say that it's Windows 10 version 2004, because that makes it sound like it came out in the year 2004. But what that is, is it's two digits for the year and then two digits for the month, which would have been April of 2020. So this computer is not going to get that update soon. Now also let me point out that this computer is Windows 10 Pro, whereas on my uh, recording computer, it was Windows 10 Home. Now let me punch over to another computer that's actually on my desk right here. And this one is also version 2004 and it's Windows 10 Pro, but let me point out it's build 19041.804. So let's come back to the, my, what I call my computer number two and see that it's 19041.867. So I have an 804 and an 867 right here on my desk with both Windows 10 Pro. Now those aren't going to get this forced update that we're about to reach end of service. Um, let's come back here to my Log me and rescue technician. These are two other computers that are here in my home. This is my HP Surface laptop. So I'll click on that one. And actually down here I have those screens open. So here's the Surface. And it has version 1909 and build 18363-1440. So it's about to get that forced update, but it's not here yet. The reason for that is that, uh, I suspect, the reason for that is that this computer has been turned off for some time. But I think when it next checks for updates, it's probably going to get that message about updating, needing to update. So before I do that, let's go look at my next computer, my HP Silver. Uh, let's close all that stuff down and do Windows key R, Winver. There it is. So this is Windows 10 Home and this is 20H2. Well, okay, so that, that, that again interrupts that naming convention, two digits for the year and two digits for the month. So let's go look at what is happening there. I think I've already violated my intention of, of uh, keeping this short to what you need in order to deal with this situation. So I'm, I, I've got to shortcut the rest of what I'm about to do. 
So here's the version history. Now here, Microsoft is using the word release. That is probably a fair thing to call these releases. However, here they use the word version. So there's no consistency. So Windows 10 Home and Pro, we have a start date July 29th, 2015. So that's when it first came out. And that retirement uh, date October 14th, 2025. So they're intending some more severe retirement in 2025. But here's the releases. Started with 1507. So that came out in 2015, right? Here you see 2015. In the seventh month, they met their deadline. Then here, this one, 1511. That was in 2015. In November, they met the deadline. This one should be 2016, the seventh month. Well, they were a few days late in August. 2017, the third month. Again, they were several days late. 2017, the ninth month, September, and it actually came out in October. 1803, it also came out the next month, at the end of the next month. And then this one should have been 2018 in September. This came out in November, so they're two months behind. This one was supposed to be 2019, the third month, and it came out two months later. 2019, September, they came out two it came out two months later. 2004, remember this is when we all realized, wait a minute, there's a problem with this. We don't want to call it 20, 2004. So it was supposed to be the fourth month of 2020. Well, it came out towards the end of May. And then they changed the naming convention. They said, okay, we're going to say the year 20, H1 and H2. Well, they didn't do it for the first half of 2020. So the first time we get that release identification was the last half of 2020, and that came out in October. Well, for each of these, there's an end date. So 1507 was reached end of life, May 2017. And as you come up here, today is March 14th, 2021. You see that this one right here is obsolete, no longer supported. So nobody should find, when they do WinVer, nobody should find that they have 1903. The only way you could accomplish that is if you just don't connect to the internet. If you have been connecting to the internet and you still were able to stay at 1903, I'm not sure how you accomplish that. There's, there's a couple possible workarounds for it, but I haven't seen anybody try. So then I have 1909 on a couple of my computers. It came out November 2019. And the end date is May 11th, 2021. So I actually have a little time left. Remember that the, the latest date that it would let me extend to was April 18th. So I could delay to April 18th and still be okay. And I'm kind of inclined to do that. So that gives you an idea about how these version numbers uh, work. Now this is for Windows 10 Home, Pro, Pro Education, and Pro for Workstations. There's, there's a, a few other Windows 10 versions outside of this range. I'm not even going to talk about them. If I do, you're going to start, well, all right, there I did. Enterprise, education, these are different. <laughs> oh my gosh, how do I not talk about this? Windows 10 Pro and Windows 10 Home are the ones that I'm trying to deal with in these videos. The first half of the year, H, which is now called H1, and the second half of the year, which is called H2. And, and this is right here where Microsoft is actually validating, yes, H stands for the word half. If you're dealing with Pro or Home, each time those come out, it, it's going to have an 18-month 18, 18 life cycle. 
If you're in enterprise education or IoT enterprise, the one that comes out in the first half of the year has an 18 month lifespan. The one that comes out in the last half of the year is 30 months, which means for instance, it's possible to have a second half version installed on a computer where the first half version from the later year is expired. Okay, stop. Stop it, Doug. Just stop talking about that. <laughs> it's getting too much into the weeds. What else do I need? Let's just go back, shall we, to how you should deal with this on your computer. Let's get back to here and deal with these options. How are we going to deal with this? Well, I want to try to show as many variations of I can, as I can. Now this arrow here, that's going to move the not notification to the action center. So that's a way to get it out of your way. It's going to slide off to the, to the right of the screen and it's going to be down here in the notification center. So it's out of your way. So I think I can do that and then bring it back. So if I come down to the notification center and here's that message, if I click, let's see, this one here, collapse, clear, I don't want to do that, settings. If I single left click on it, can I bring it back? No. So none of those me methods brought it back and it's gone completely. That's not what I wanted to do. I want to bring that message back. Now notice down here I've got that orange button again. What happens? Can I bring that message back? No. Left click just goes into here. Okay, so one of those options was to pick a time. If you click on that pick a time, that would be similar to this, schedule the restart. So if you click on that pick a time, you can come in here, turn this on, and pick what time and what day you want that restart to happen. Let's see, there was the gear icon. I think the gear icon probably would have brought us into here. I don't know that because it's as clear as mud and I couldn't get back to it. So what I like most is to go to advanced options and select a date that's far out. Now there's another method that I would rather do is I'd rather not jump from 1909 all the way up to 20H2. I'd rather go to 2004 so that I'm just going up one increment. How could I do that? So I'm going to come over here and select a date as far out as possible. So now your device won't be up to date while updates are paused. Updates will resume on 418. If I click, I don't want to click resume updates. I want to click check for updates. I'm going to try closing that and then windows key update space settings. I only need to type as much as I need to, to get this search result to show up that says update settings to go back into here and it says resume updates okay so i'm going to try this i want to i want to get to a point where it will offer for me to update to 2004 because i'd rather not jump all the way to 20h2 now the reason for that 
is because this computer has a lot of other software and stuff installed. And anytime these update releases come out, there can be complications and eventually Microsoft fixes it. So here's a bunch of minor updates that are coming through. None of these are a feature. Oh, here's feature update yet to 20H2. There it is trying to take me all the way up to 20H2. So I'm going to go again to advanced options and delay to April 18th. Now that means I'm not getting some security updates as well. So going out that far is a little bit chancy. Really what you ought to be doing, since I have not found a way to tell it to just go up to 2004, what I'm going to have to recommend is to delay maybe a week or until the weekend and pick a date and time that maybe if it's an office computer or whatever your usage is, pick a date and time, maybe 5 p.m. on Friday or 4.30 on Friday so that you get a message on your screen before you're ready to walk away from your computer so that you can be reminded that that's about to install. And make sure the installation begins before you leave the computer. Now, the reason why I say this is because if you pick a date and time of, say, 10 p.m. tonight, and let's suppose this is an office computer and you're going to leave at 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, whenever, or even it's a home computer and you pick a, a time in the middle of the night, it's possible that it might not start that installation of the update when you told it to. So I would like for you to see the beginnings of that installation so that you know it is going. Or even click an Install Now button. So the reason why I'm putting this video out now is because I think a lot of people are going to be seeing this message come up. And sometimes they're going to freak out, is this legitimate? Should I do this now or not? Definitely don't do it now if you're wanting to use your computer now. If you let it do that installation now, it might take two hours, could be more, depending upon the speed of your computer. So I'm recommending delay it to a date and time when you're okay with it taking a long time, perhaps when you can check up on it to be sure that it's going okay. If you have trouble with it and you'd like to contact me for assistance with that, I'm happy to help you with it as long as I can make a video out of it. So that means I need you to come into a Zoom session so that we can converse about it. I need to be able to connect remotely to your computer. And all of this is happening while I'm creating a YouTube video, either through live streaming or through live recording. So if you'd like to request help for that or for any other subject matter with your computer, send an email to dougbetts at livewindowstraining.com. Give me an idea what you want help with, and we'll put it together. So I hope this video has been useful to you and that it is indeed clear as mud. Have a great day. See you later. Goodbye. <laughs>